Hi, I'm Artemis, and this is the biggest painting I've ever done. I started this painting using big natural sponges with black, blue, and purple colors. Once that dried, I started layering in nebulous clouds with lighter blues and purples. Then I mixed in different amounts of white for further layers. I used a smaller brush to outline the clouds in darker blue and purple and give them a stronger shape. Then I added some really bright stars to bring together the overall composition of the painting. At this point, I wanted to add lines of gold like you'd see in a picture from the Hubble or James Webb telescope, but my lines were too thick and it didn't look how I wanted it. So I added a giant planet in the corner and blotted the gold lines out with more sponges and black paint to go at it again. Lots of artists use the splatter technique to produce stars, but I don't. I prefer meditatively painting each one. While I do this, I think about how every star has a unique size and position and its own planets. I use different colors for my stars too, white and green, and blue and red and gold. Here and there, I included far off galaxies and black holes. Next, I used a dry brush to spread out soft lines in red, pink, and blue. This technique was one I had to research to produce the waves of a nebula or star nursery. Meanwhile, I was trying to get the planet in the upper right corner to stand out. The purple turned out too dull and the yellow ochre and gray rings weren't detailed enough. I mixed a bright red to make the planet really pop and shaded it with swirls of darker crimson and tried again with a fully gray ring. I worked around the painting to add more tiny stars and galaxies and added two smaller planets on the bottom right. I kept trying to make the rings around the big planet work and went over it again with a shimmering metallic color but I still wasn't happy with how it looked. So I finally blotted the whole ring out using white and black to restore the background another time. I repainted the rest of the red planet and came back another day. Four thin individual rings around the planet. I put them in white so that my metallic paint would show up consistently across the black and red. While I waited for the white ring basis to dry, I put in a few more nebulous waves and continued with stars. I turned the whole painting sideways to work stars into every part of it and put some more sweeping purple into the clouds. Finally, I turned the painting to the other side so I could reach the planet's rings better. Then I used five different shades of gold, from a yellow sunshine gold to a metallic brown, to really let the light from the central star land on the rings. Here's a breakdown of the layers. Layer 1, Layer 2, Layer 3, Layer 4, Layer 5, Layer 6, and the final layer. Thank you for watching!